Welcome back to Let's Play Back Oceans. Days I did where it's supposed to meet at noon at the church plaza. You have a date today. Also, this has changed color. It's a fancy draw now. And the flower is replaced by a cactus. Fancy drawer. <coughs> I still need screen. <coughs> cactus. And a really sunbounce. My throat. I hate this cough. I assume this is a sturdy screen. I'm not sure if there's any difference from the one that was there previously. Probably the same. I don't know. I checked the previous video just to confirm that this is different than it is indeed different. It's, it wasn't this color previously, so it's more fancy, I guess. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get on with this. Good morning. I'm pleased to see you looking well. I don't feel well, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, I just feel unpleasant, you know, feeling in the throat. You know, where you feel like all logged up and bleh. It's just like someone watching it going, I'm trying to eat, I'd rather not think about that. I should have known you'd have a book of secrets. Yeah, this is the dialogue I was on about with the cutter a while ago. It's like, what the hell does that dialogue even mean? A book of secrets? The only thing I can assume she... Well, I'm not even sure if that would make any sense. I was thinking maybe it's because we ought to spread one. What's that got to do with a book of secrets? I don't understand. Good morning. I went for a walk the other night and saw a meteor shower. It was awesome. I was hungry. You're so thoughtful. Morning. Good morning. Let's do our best today. We still have lunch and dinner at the end, so stop by and grab some food if you're ever hungry. What other requests got added to the bulletin board? Oh, and my death requests. Good morning. Good morning. The day is full of promise, isn't it? House where you are staying used to have guests with us. Because we were getting more guests, we rebuilt in on the other side. But we left one room of the old one. It doesn't look like there could be anything more than just the one building now, honestly. They could care, it's... Anyone else here? Yeah. Hey, Cassie, you're the only kids on the island. Hmm. You with more kids. Morning. Why, good morning. I do hope you'll have a good day. I teach the children myself, but I do wish there was a school here. Hmm. If only there were more children on the island, we could bring a school. You're all just freaking going on about that. Meanwhile, if you get a kid in the game, it doesn't accomplish nothing. No school gets built. The kid never even leaves to interact with anyone else. Good morning. <laughs> My pen pal came to visit, it was so fun, but of course you have an off screen because you can't have another character here. Too much effort. Good morning. I can't prepare anything special, but I do hope you'll stop by the house. Hey, morning. I've never met a human named Merwin. You know, I don't think I've seen any other character use the name Merwin. If you just type Merwin into Google, you'll get the result from this character right here. It seems like no one else has had that name. What did you Are say? you making fun of my name? Um, I wasn't laughing. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. <sighs> sorry, people used to make fun of my name, so I thought you might be too. In the other language, the name Merwin means white flower by the waterside. Quite complex, isn't it? I find it weird how names can have these meanings like that. So, it's like, how does that lead to that? Water's Edge is a sacred place for dark elves, but it's called purity. It's 
I love my name no matter what anybody, everyone, anybody else says. I agree, it's a name that tells a lot about how those who named you felt. <laughs> I think so. What a nice thing to say. Thanks. Merwin always struck me as kind of a Welsh name, but I guess... You know, I wonder if, you know... Tolkien was the main guy when it comes to, like, you know... Modern kind of takes on stuff like that. I wonder if he was, like, inspired by, you know, Welsh names for, like, some of the Elvish names. Or maybe just kind of Celtic names. I don't know. Merwin just has a kind of Welsh kind of sound to it. I don't know why. I have a pink cat. I could certainly use a drink. Can I really have this? <coughs> I won't give it back to you even if you ask for it, you know. <laughs> it's just like I hand her a flower and then state that. It's just like, what the hell are you talking about, man? Why are you giving me a flower? And then stating that you could use a drink. It's this damn cough on my ear. Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! What's the matter? Is something bothering you? Hmm. A traditional breakfast is best, I guess. <laughs> Good morning. I'm leaving now. Can you imagine that? Yes, visit someone's house. They say something you find to be a bit awkward. You just kind of laugh like, ha ha ha, I'm leaving now, and then you just leave. Hey, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? That's how young folk ought to be. What if it's boss on the same day? That ain't boss. No booze your name. What's with no song for my sweet lady either? Like you're an alcoholic, Marcus. You got a problem. Hey, that's why I don't even bother with the bar during daylight hours. Good morning. Good morning. You're looking well today. Now, can you imagine Barkus reveals why he drinks all the time? It's because his grandson is such a disappointment. <laughs> Joe would be like, you stupid motherfucker, how can he say something like that? I'm fine, I blame more stars in the sky. <clears throat> I'll find someone, don't worry. Just like, in the sky, are we talking like, it's just like, well, Whale Island, as the characters have said, now he's in the sky technically, so why not go there? Just like date someone from there. Ah, that's stupid. Well, it could, maybe. You know exactly what I like, and you got it for me, didn't you? Thanks. That really makes me happy. Good job. Hmm. Your visit does not displease me. I decided to make a most of my private sacrifice, but you're up to getting angry and I'm not going home. Since the month I've been on the premises. What a douchebag. Jewels possess magic. I will take possession of this one. You get a cold, the only way you can get better is to get to the grid or take cold meds. Of course, the best thing is not to catch cold in the first place, so try not to stay up all night. Now my sleeping pattern tends to range a lot, see? Thank you very much! I love this! <laughs> I've generally always been more of a night person. Oh, and that's here! Oh yeah, this is the floor. Hello. Oh wait, there was that thing, wasn't it? I forgot because it was so long ago. Sonja, did you find the necklace? I'm really sorry, not yet. I see. Well, what can we do? Something we are lost. Don't get found. We got it from a close friend, right? So shouldn't you? It's all right. It was a my fault for losing it. I'll just forget about the necklace. But thank you for looking for it for me. What's with the gloom? Anyway, I have good news too. 
Basically, monsters have stopped pestering me. Not a single one in month. New record. I'll take the bad with the good. I'm not going to get down. Annette, I will find your necklace. I think it's right there, isn't it? No. I'm going to be three lines lit by magic. It's right here. Something on the ground. Berries? This must be the necklace that Annette dropped. Beasts are scattered, that's why no one could find it. What should I do? Since it's about a necklace, I should probably ask Electra. Indeed. How am I? Uh, I I'm fine. I have a giant tomato as compensation. What is this thing? I've never even seen something like this. Wow! Didn't have a voice line for that, but who's surprised? At least with this, we'll instantly help. Oh, because she uh, points us towards Marilyn after this. Do you have a minute to talk? Certainly, what is it? Actually. So that's the situation. May I see it? What do we have here? This is no ordinary necklace. It's enchanted by special elf with magic. I cannot repair this. Too bad. Why don't you ask Merwin? She's an elf, of course. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Electra. She's on the move. She's right there. What are you in such a uh, tizzy about? Merwin? What? I, will, I, get, I pronounce it as Merwin. Merwin? You take a look at this for me. Huh? What a necklace. Why do you ask me? Huh? Oh, hey, where did you get this? You're hurting me, Merwin. Merwin? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. The necklace, right? I can fix it in a Here, it's fixed. Now I'm very busy. What's gotten into Merwin? I'm tired of bath will take away your fatigue, but I've heard it's not good to take a bath too often. What's the this right? She's gone! Oh, no, she isn't. <laughs> she just moved a little bit. That'd be a kick to the balls, wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, come back next season. <gasps> this part's gonna have the first date with Bismarck, and yet Annette's going to overshadow it in the first half of the year. This, this is my necklace. You found it. There's light scattered on the ground. That's why we couldn't find it. Thanks. That's how it was. And you fixed it for me. Thank you. So glad it's been found. Annette. <gasps> Wenny, what are you doing here? What did you say? Don't you call me Wenny. But forget about that. What are you doing here is a question I should be asking you. I came to Fair Island once a month for my delivery job. Uh. Two, I had no idea. It's like, how? Well, I guess you'd have to come down here at a specific time. Possibly. I mean, she stays there for most of the fourth of each season. Leaves sometime in the evening. Afternoon or evening. I guess Berwin only occasionally comes down to the harbor. And I'm working under their side to kill them. <gasps> what? Since when? You mean we were this near each other and never knew it? Annette, Merwin, so you two know each other. Oh, sorry, I guess I owe you an explanation. Wendy and I were friends when we were kids. So, well, never mind. Uh -huh. It was for two or three years, and then I had to go back to the Dark Elf home. 
That's when she gave me the necklace. Among the elves there, it's custom to uh, give a close friend of the same sex a token of friendship and absolutely special magic. <gasps> special magic? Didn't I mention that? Magic that makes you get along with monsters. Monsters will come right up to you. <gasps> Hold up, what are you saying? Are you telling me that the reason monsters have been pestering me is because of that necklace? <gasps> pestering you? The effect should just be that they will come up to you. <laughs> that jump. You make it sound cute, but monsters will be pet me forever. I thought that I had angered the monsters or that they would smell some tasty on me. Uh -huh. That's odd, there shouldn't be such a powerful effect. Maybe I'll be this. That was the first necklace I made after all. Now that I think about it, I might not have done it exactly right. You're kidding me! And you've been treasuring it all this time. Sorry, Annette. Oh, it's okay. My voice actress doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it definitely caused me all kinds of trouble, but thanks to this necklace, now you and I have met again. When I repaired the necklace, I fixed the enchantment so monsters shouldn't chase you around anymore. I'm so glad that you have treasured this as a token of our friendship. Oh, sure. The one time you can just insert her voice I into a thanks, you don't know, insert I said this last time we saw this. Thanks? Thanks! You just say it right there, it's all thanks for starting here of that, when you and I met again. Thanks! Literally, they did not have her voice actress in the studio or whatever very long, did they? Well, thanks to Sanja that when I met again. Thanks. 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 That's all I got for you is thanks and the occasional kind of eh <laughs> line. You know, that's a, that's all we could afford to get from the voice actors. Today's looking up already. Hey! Sanja, we've been through a lot, but we're friends, right? I hope we can keep on being friends like this. Oh, this is for me? Don't mind if I do. Ernest <coughs> cough. I hate it. I hate it so, so very much. Who have I not talked to? Um, Elena and Bismarck and Sierra. Now let's uh, give away some giant marbles. Oh, this is quite rare. I'll gladly accept it. Exactly what it is, but it looks rare. Thank you. Marcus, why didn't you have a giant demand? Oh, you're giving me this? Not rare for me, they always grow on my eyelids. Wow! Where did you find this? It's pretty cool. Nice job! Now, I made the mistake of giving one of these to uh, Jocelyn. She doesn't like tomatoes, so, you know. Even if it's a giant rare version, you know, she's like, ah, I don't like tomatoes, sorry. Thanks. 
Great to see them both working at the store at the same time, isn't it? Thanks. 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 Well, he's got such a cool name. Willy, 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 willy. That's what he is, all right. We got to buy monsters, I guess so. I think it is. I can have it? I'm not giving it back, even if you ask me for it, okay? Good morning. I'm so glad I got to see you today. <laughs> what will it be? How many do you need? I'll send it to your monster shed. We're meeting today at noon at the shed class. I'll see that. so much. The truth is, I, I'm a sucker for these kinds of things. I wonder with these dates, though, because, you know, I'd like to give a few days, you know, after the dates, so, you know, arrange for an hour, you know, so that maybe we can get it in spring instead of winter. But I don't know if that's possible, especially since this game has its so that only the guys can, uh, you know, ask on the dates. Morning. You're looking lively as usual. Can you share some of your energy? Hmm. So inconvenient to be so far away from other towns. That's why I'm thinking about making a go and make across the ocean. Wait a minute. How's that even going to Yeah, never mind. So we got time to kill till noon, so I might as well try to get close to that island or wherever it is that Bakas wants us to check out. So it's down there, how long would that take? And we'll come back to this after. Gotta be on time. Wow, he certainly doesn't look like he's gonna be on time. Wait, what? <laughs> now you suddenly appears I know. Sons. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. No. That's okay, I just came earlier. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> no, Sonja, there's something different about it today. I find it to be very nice. Thanks, I guess. Uh, uh, let's have fun. Yes, that's. Let's be the first. Uh, how about we go for a walk? with me? <laughs> don't know if I can talk about people out of tune. I think it's either G or C. Same thing we see every day. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm so glad you like it. Thought he was gonna say a cliche line like something not as beautiful as you. <laughs> every year when winter comes, Gerard decorates the church 
Gerard. <laughs> and my sister suggested that this would be a good place for a date. Sierra said that? Hmm. That's a little unexpected. Sierra doesn't seem like the type to take any interest in her brother's dates. I mean, this really makes me wonder. I mean, it must be... Because, you know... Other than, say, maybe a deed... I just wonder now, it's like... If we were dating Nadine, you'd have no other characters joining in like that. Because it's based on Mark, you know, he's got a sister. If it's James or Lena, you know, they relate as well, so if you're dating them, I imagine the other one comes in to play somewhat with the date food, maybe. Oh, uh, quite the opposite, in fact. As soon as she heard that we were going on a date, she pestered me to find out where we were going. You know, spec service case, you can decide this one. <laughs> Pestered for spec savers logo, non spec saves logo for your option. Two out of three. Pestered? Uh, yes. Uh, like, how many dates had we been on? Uh, have we held hands yet? Uh, what my plans for the future were? Uh, speaking of which, I think it happened off screen. Where you got the option, to, uh, you know, because he was like, uh, you know what do people do when they're on dates? Hold hands or kiss. Went with the former and they held hands, but not visually. So that was something. I see. That must be pretty tough for you, Bismarck. It, yes, it can be. <laughs> Look how much taller she is, even in sitting down. Bismarck, you are a short man. Or oh, either that or something is really tall. I think Bismarck is short. Someone might be tall, but no. Yeah. And it only snows during dates. Unless it was a snowy day, which it wasn't. Huh? It's snowing! You're right. It's beautiful. I usually hate it when it snows because there's so few customers in the store. But snow falling on a day like this is completely different. What do you mean, a day like this? Oh, uh, nothing. You are very short. What's with Bismarck today? He seems kind of fidgety. Look at the height difference, it's crazy. Um, Bismarck. Um, Bismarck? <laughs> What's wrong? You've been a little fidgety. I like how I was basically like, I'm Bismarck, and then she says it word for word. <laughs> I wonder with these, because I'm not sure if you can actually propose to a character if you're playing a soldier. You can make the ring, so maybe you can. Maybe you can reject. Because I think on the second date they might propose to you, I think. So if that happens, maybe you could reject that style. And then be like, no, I'm the one who's going to propose. I have to be the one who's assertive here. You're not allowed to do that. What, what do you mean? I, I'm not fidgety. Not at all. <laughs> this cough is really annoying. Don't go back to your old cell phone. Okay then. For such a, you know, possibly important choice that may change the flow of this date, I'm gonna leave in the hands of the spec savers case again. Spec savers logo for the top choice. On spec savers logo for the other. Try to free. Don't go back to your old self. What? Oh, you 
we've worked so hard to be more self-confident. Don't get nervous now. Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. I feel like the music changing makes it seem like, did I pick the bad choice? Sonja. Yes? Would you say you're my girlfriend? <laughs> what kind of question is that? You're dating, so yeah. D do you like me? <laughs> so basically, you could be either too embarrassed or be around the bush and be like, what about you? Look at how... Look at the size difference. What about you? I... I, I love you. Sonja. More than anyone in the world. Will you marry me? This is my lifelong wish. First date? Jesus Christ, Bismarck. I should have gone with the other choice at the start. Well? Because, you know, that way we could have been like, you probably wouldn't have had the confidence to, you know, be like, okay, I'm going to say right here, right now. I know I'm not the dependable kind, and you know how my personality is. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ, Bismarck, it's the first freaking date. I don't think you can do that when Blaine's a D, you know, get married on the first date. That's just crazy. Even so, I want to protect you for as long as I live. Protect from what? Please, marry me. Will you please give me an answer? <laughs> the way you said, please, marry me. Or I would make you laugh and live in hell. <laughs> I mean, what if we say no? Does it... Just like, okay, now they split up. I, well, I wanted to at least, you know, get a spring, but how can a little winter wedding it is? It's just like they've been on one freaking date. It's just like... Just like... They're, <laughs> they're, they're basically like those couples. Where they're like, we're in love. It's only been a few weeks, but we're in love. We're going to get married. And then it all falls apart not long afterwards. But in this game, you know, everyone lives happily ever after. It's good. Go for it. Be like, I would love to, but not right now. Really? Oh, it's like a dream come true. I, I didn't think you'd say yes. I didn't think you'd propose, honestly. At least not that quickly. And Jesus Christ, it's not. Please accept this. It's an engagement ring, meant to signify a promise to the person you want to spend your life with. May I have the honor of placing this ring on your finger? Your ginormous fingers? I mean, will it be on the finger or around the wrist? Oh, actually around the finger. That's surprising. It's like uh, Bismarck, you're supposed to do that, you know, during the uh, ceremony. Look how small he is compared. Your fingers are glitching through her scarf. What a weird couple. They went on a date and then got married right on the spot. Guess we're going to transition to the wedding now. This part ends up being a lot more eventful than I thought it was going to be. We've already married. This escalated so quickly. Went from the Annette scene to this. Unexpected. But hey, we're speeding up the process to, you know, get to the next one, you know. But first, you know, they'll have to have a kid and we don't know how long that's going to be. He's not even wearing his glasses. <laughs> I'm just picturing. I wonder, it would be perfect if you marry Lily and she trips over while doing that walk. That would be so in character.
Seriously, if, you know, because Lily has been voted for. So if Dean marries Lily on one of the other save files and she doesn't trip when walking like that, then that is definitely a missed opportunity from the developers to not do that because that would be priceless. Do you swear to take this woman as your wife to love and honor as long as you both shall live, even though you've been dating for maybe a few weeks at most? I do. Do you swear to take this man as your husband to love and honor as long as you both shall live on this safe farm? I do. You may now kiss. You are so short. And Q. Applause. Congratulations. First call for celebration. I'm both you to have become a nice. <laughs> I'll be very happy, Bismarck, Sandra. Lunge, come on, why do you have to make Bismarck of all time? I feel like it's the developers speaking right there, like, really? I mean, I don't, I don't know if you didn't give Sandra many uh, options, but you went with Bismarck? I love you just as much as he does. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's like, Joe. I get it, man, but, you know, don't ruin the moments. Hey, what are you going on about? Be a man and send her off with us, my son of a bitch. Like, but that would imply that your mother was a bitch. I mean, your, uh, daughter. Yeah. Well. Well, you know, it could be in-laws. I don't know. We don't know who Joe's parents are. Oh, yeah, okay. Wonderful! I'd like to give my heartiest congratulations to the happy Congratulations! Both of you. Congratulations, Bismarck. Yeah, you know, I find it weird because I can't remember when I married the Nick because I was ages ago at this point. But now I don't recall Violet being all, you know, depressed over it like Joe was there. Like, Joe, you're a sore loser, man. Sure, you, I mean, you had the chance. But by the time we got to that point where, you know, every single candidate got voted for, by that point it was already too late. Because the specific case I hold in my hands decided on the moment where, you know, we had the option to uh, turn Bismarck down or not, happened to land on the opposite of that, so here we are. Don't worry, Sierra and I will take care of the general store. Uh, wait, I'm not going to stop working just because I'm married. That's not how it works. What? You're not? I just assumed. Didn't she say the same thing when we married the dead? She's like, I'll be taking care of the inn now. Congratulations. Let's put on a round nice wedding ceremony. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Sanchi, you look very pretty. Thank you for inviting me. It's such a happy event. Congratulations. Bismarck Sandra. Congratulations. Bismarck Sandra. At least, you know, James is, you know, taking it well. Oh, yeah, I should have set off some fireworks to celebrate. Oh, yeah, I do have Smashy that I designed with all the moon launch. Uh, no, that's okay. Congratulations, Sanji. You look lovely. You're a part of our family, so if you ever need our any advice, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> I won't. Thank you. Congratulations! Sanja. You're like a little sister to me, so I couldn't be happier if this was my own wedding. You already had your own wedding. Wait, but then I'm older than you are. How old is everyone? <laughs> what? You, you are? Well, you can be kind of a dit, so I guess that's why I always thought you were younger. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on calling you my little sister, okay? 
no, it's not okay. <laughs> Congratulations! Sanja. So, would that mean Sanja's probably about the same age as Lily? However old she is supposed to be. I've always thought of you like an older sister, so I'm happy for you. <laughs> I hope you'll be very happy together. Oh, and now that you're married, make sure you come in for regular checkups. After all, there might be certain changes inside your body, like getting pregnant and all. Oh, I'm sorry, the wedding is really the right place to discuss that, is it? Congrats! Relations. Man, I never thought Sanja would marry Bismarck. <laughs> it's like, everyone's in disbelief. It's like, Sanja married Bismarck? Well, that was a surprise. Are you sure you want him to be your husband? <laughs> Jesus Christ, way the frick embarrass your brother on his way. <laughs> That's basically like if you get married, like I mean, really? You chose my brother? Really? I mean there's there's better out there's like god damn it, sis. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, he's cheap and inflexible and to top it off uh, top it all, I'll be stingy. Exactly, he's very stingy. Sierra. <laughs> That's not something you should say on his wedding day, though. <laughs> but he's still a good guy, so be nice to him. Congratulations. No matter the country, a wedding is something to celebrate. <laughs> I hope you know that I wish you all the happiness in the world. Very nice. My congratulations. I'm noticing. <laughs> Look at the He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn is like, yeah, yeah. What the hell is Kelsey doing? <laughs> His animation seems more like a uh, kind of animation to expect for one of the girls. It's kind of like, mm, I'm a bit kind of shy. Was, is uh, Dean going to get any lines in here? Now start having children so I can have more underlings. Huh? No! What? Is this? You refuse to have children? No, I want children, but I don't want them to be your underlings. Congratulations! I came to the island today, when I'm not actually at the island today. Does that make sense? It was so sweet of you to invite me to the wedding. Love is one of the greatest gifts you can have in life. I hope you'll treat us. Or maybe we can assume this is like a little time skip. Where it's like, maybe a few days pass. But then we'll get a time skip of like maybe a year or something. Maybe not, I can't remember. Maybe that was for when you have a kid. I, think. I know that they give you a year time skip there, but it's basically on the day that it happens. It's just <coughs> supposedly a year. Congratulations! Daddy <laughs> looks so pretty. Hmm. I can't wait to get married. Congratulations. I'll study hard so I can get married to you. There it is. So weird to think of you being married. Yeah, I guess. This was your choice, and I know that you and Bismarck will be really happy. Good luck. Thanks, Dean. Oh my! Congratulations! The two of you will go through both good times and bad, but mostly mediocre. But there's one thing I want the two of you to remember, no matter what happens. You're not alone. Together the two of you can go through things you could never get through alone. As long as you remember that you'll be alright, I wish you both joy. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad I was able to stay here in this time. I'm so happy right now. Then several days later. <laughs> It's like, uh, do we have divorce in this universe? <laughs> yes. Is that a thing? <laughs> we don't get any new animation for that because it's another winter wedding. Unfortunately, all the other save styles are around the same time. Because, you know, complete the game. Did I complete the game in fall, in autumn? I think I did, you know, when I defeated the final boss, so. Mm -hmm. It ends up being winter by the time you end up uh, dating anyone, so yeah. But we you know we're going with the female characters though, because they apparently can't propose to you. You can just keep putting off the proposal until it gets close to spring, you know? I'm so tired. I didn't actually think the party would go all night. 
Mark was sleeping next to me the whole time. I felt a little jealous. Of course he did. That's true. You are so very short. I still can't really believe that we're married. I mean, we have one date. That's true. Um. Not very exciting to keep calling you the same thing. Uh, what should I call you? Uh, call me whatever you want. Oh, but I'd like you to choose. Okay. <laughs> Princess, babe, sweetie, honey, sunshine. Now nah, I'm very boring. I'm gonna go with Sanjay. Yeah. All right, I'll call you Sanjay. I love you. I love you. Two. Stop. And then she's instantly pregnant. Now, nah, I don't think that's gonna happen for a while. Oh. Now we begin the annoying process of. Oh, he is here. I thought he'd go straight to the store. <laughs> that's why I would have expected that. Oh, it does actually advance a day at least then. It's like, yeah, we advanced a single day. That's all we did. Wind's birthday tomorrow. And, you know, Tap will be on the arm as well. Plus, the next day after that, it's a snow fest. So, how long will it take before they have a child? I can't remember how long it took with the dance. It definitely took a while. But I'm not sure how we'll do this going forward. Because I'll obviously on screen the Friday because of Tab for and the holiday because it's a festival. There might be a lot more skipping of days to get to the point where, you know, Sonja gets pregnant. You know what this also means, viewers? This also means that, you know, uh, time is running out on those poles. Like, so far we got Elena, Lily, and Sonja. So, and when I reload those older save files, before, you know, we got married to a death, you know, those are the only three options so far. And we have other options still. That haven't got votes for are Sierra, Koto, Electra, Marilyn, and Violet, and Pandora. And Beatrix. No, she's not an option. That'd be hilarious if it was. That would be weird. And of course, you know, Jocelyn's obviously not an option. She's already married. So, we're married to you now. I wasn't expecting that to happen in this part, to be honest. Good morning. Let's give today everything we've got. I wonder how long it take for you to run out of new dialogue. Huh? That's some scoff you have on. <laughs> I like that. She's like, oh, you can at least you retain some of your generic dialogue. Well, um... so I guess that's not very many things with me. It's... When I married the dead, a lot of her generic dialogue just disappeared. Which was weird. It's like her personality had been completely zapped of its, you know, whatever. So now everyone, of course, backs down and all that, and we're married to this guy now. And it's gonna take forever to get just in one max down. Maybe we'll get maxed up before, you know. Soldier has a kid, who knows? I'm gonna have to close that change it so she kind of overshadowed everything at the start of this uh, part, didn't she? With her cutscenes and all. But that's gonna do for this part in this record session, so. Let me check again. Yeah, I think I'll off screen this day. And the next part will start on the Friday. It'd be funny if I happened to record on a Friday. In fact, I'm recording on a Friday right now, aren't I? It's Friday then, right? Yeah, Friday. It'd be funny if I was recording on a Friday, you know, when an next recording for all this. You know, I don't know how long that'll be, but I'll let you know. Let's see you next time, viewers. See you next time. run into each other. Otherwise, see you back at home.